The Mariam Abacha American University of Nigeria, my own colonel, has begun discussion with the University Technology Petronas, UTP Malaysia, on possible collaboration between the two institutions. Speaking at a virtual meeting on Monday, 4th of July 2022, the president of Ma'un, Professor Dr. Muhammad Isra, highlighted the possible areas of the proposed collaboration. The Monday meeting was held in continuation of the last meeting held earlier between officials of the two universities. He said Ma'un is interested in the areas of joint publication of research outcomes, staff and students' mobility programs, and joint supervision of postgraduate students. Prof. Isra listed other areas of possible collaboration to include students' internship programs, sharing knowledge and expertise, economic collaboration, as well as sabbatical programs, among others. In his remarks, the Vice President Administrations and Registrar of Ma'un, Dr. Habib Abubakar Wei, said the meeting is intended to serve as a dialogue or mutual cooperation between the two partners. He disclosed that the university is also interested in research development, innovation and scientific discoveries. According to him, the university is focusing attention on health sciences, saying that the National Universities Commission, NUC, had promised to grant the university license to offer such courses. He thanked UTP officials for honoring the invitation and expressed hope that the MOU would be a landmark for the development of both universities. In her address, Dr. Maizatul Shima Shaharun, Chair, Fundamental and Applied Sciences Departments, explained the modalities for signing of the MOU, stressing that approval must first be secured from the Faculty of Sciences, which shall thereafter be submitted to the legal department for review. She charged one of the alumni of UTP, Dr. Zakaria Owazongo, to be the middleman between UTP and Ma'un, so as to forward the document for signing after all the necessary procedures had been made. In his address, Dr. Lim Jim Wei, head of chemistry unit, expressed appreciation that the scope of the MOU would also include joint seminars and conferences, attachment of students and other areas of cooperation to be mutually agreed upon. He gave assurance that as soon as all the necessary processes and prerequisites for the signing of the MOU are completed, the document would be signed in order to make it a reality. Among those who also attended the meeting were Engineer Bashir Garba, Head of International Relations Unit of Ma'un, and members of Corporate Communications and Protocol Unit.